In this video, I'm going to do an unbagging of a Rocketfish 3D 4-port HDMI selector remote control. In this video, I'm going to do an unbagging of a 128 gigabyte flash drive that I got from Tiger Direct as a Black Friday deal. In this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of something that really has nothing to do with tech, but it's a cool novelty idea. So let's, let's get, get to it. it. Now, about a year ago, I bought a Rocketfish 3D 4-port HDMI selector, and I got that from eBay. Now, normally a device like that will run you about 100 bucks from Best Buy, at least when I bought it from eBay. And I actually got that device for $8 shipped. $8 versus $100 is a big savings. Of course, I bought it used, and I bought it without a remote. Now, generally, if you buy it brand new, it does come with a remote. And I have it connected to my television in my bedroom, which only has one HDMI port on it. So having a four-port selector, four-port HDMI selector, comes in handy so I can attach more than one HDMI device to that TV. Now, being that that TV is in my bedroom, I've found that sometimes if I have a sleepless night and I'm watching more than just one thing on a different device, it's nice to be able to change the selector without actually having to get out of bed. So I went back to eBay and I checked to see if I could find a remote for this device. And I actually found one. Interestingly enough, this was $7 shipped. So I actually got the device itself for $8 shipped and I got this for $7 shipped. So this little remote that's just going to be able to change the, the inputs on the device itself cost $1 less than the device, or at least cost me $1 less than the device. So in total, the thing cost me $15. Still a big savings from if I bought this brand new. So let's get this thing open here. There we go. Tiny, 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 tiny remote. I didn't know it was brand new. I thought I was buying a used device here. Let me see if I can get in here without having to get my trusty cutter out. There we go. Just a plastic bag. Tiny, tiny remote here. Very light and uh, it doesn't have any plastic on it. It is, of course, made of plastic and you have a high gloss little membrane on top here. You have your power button. You have your different selections, your one, two, three, and four. So you can select whatever HDMI device you want. You have your Rocketfish branding down here. And then please remove battery protector before using. So if you want to initiate the battery, you pull this guy out and that puts the battery in contact with the contact on here. And now I'm able to use it. And if I ever want to change that battery out, I just have to pull it out of here. So here's the Rocketfish device, and hopefully you can see it here. Everything is black around it, the case, the uh, DVD player under it, but I think you can see it. And forgive the mess here, I actually pulled it out from the cabinet here because normally it's, it's in there and I have all of the HDMI ports used on it. But I did want to show you the remote here and how it's going to work here. So you can see the lights on the front of the Rocketfish device here. And right now it's on input number four. So as you can see here, you can change that. Change it to input number one, number two, number three or back to number four. There we go. And then I can turn it off if I want to. So this is just going to be a very quick video. I got this as a Black Friday deal online and it was a little over fifty dollars for this flash drive. And I like to collect flash drives because they really come in handy, especially nowadays when you know a lot of computers, laptops don't come with uh, optical drives anymore. So when I see a good deal on one, I snap it up and this will be my highest capacity drive. So I've got my trusty scissors here and let's open up this envelope here. So here we go. It's a PNY 128 gigabyte USB 3.0 flash drive. Now I could be mistaken, but I think this is my first ever USB 3.0 flash drive. So not only is it a high capacity drive, but it's going to be really fast. So I have one other PNY drive and 
it looks pretty much the same as this one, although it's black instead of silver here. So let's see if we can get it out of the uh, casing here. There we go. Flash drive. Again, you can tell if it's USB 3.0 because they're always blue. Sometimes they're advertised. USB 3.0 is advertised as a high-speed USB port, and they're not always blue, but most of the time they are. And as is customary with a lot of the PNY drives, it has a little sheath here to protect the USB part. And when you're not using it, you can close it up. And this one's new, so it's a little more stiff than the other ones I have. And then, of course, you have a, an area here if you want to put this on a lanyard or something like that. Silver with your transparent, smoky, transparent cover very basic. I just wanted to share the good deal I got on this again from TigerDirect.com. It was a little over 50 bucks shipped and it's going to come in handy. So I'm going to make this a very quick video because normally my channel focuses on technology and this really has nothing to do with technology other than the fact that it probably took some technology to make it. Not a huge amount of technology but it's a cool little novelty wine glass. Actually not little at all. It's actually a very large wine glass. So without any further ado, let me grab my trusty cutter and get this box open. It's the wine bottle glass. So basically it looks like a wine bottle on the bottom, has a neck on it, and then it has a wine glass at the top. And it will fit a full bottle of wine. Again, a novelty gift. It says, finally, a wine glass that fits my needs. And that's actually what it says on the side of the wine glass. And of course, if you prefer white, you can put white in it. If you prefer red, you can put red in it. It doesn't matter. I got this from Amazon for a Christmas gift for somebody. And I got it, I think, for about $18, something like that. $18 shipped. So let's get this thing open here. There we go. It's made out of glass, as you can hear. And again, finally a wine glass that fits my needs. I think it'll be a funny gift idea. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video or share the video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.